everybody, welcome to the Saturday Surface Interval in association with Empora. Empora is an online magazine that's all about inspiring adventure. Whether that involves sliding around on a snowy mountain, pulling yourself up a climbing wall, riding your bike through wooded trails, surfing barrels at the beach, and of course, yes, exploring the underwater world, it's a website that's got you covered. It's got interviews, previews, reviews, news, everything that you need to be clued up on the big outdoor issues. It's it's got the lot. Okay, so it is Halloween. So if you're still going out, or at least allowed to go out, because this Halloween is gonna be a little bit different to past years, um, but if you still want to dress up or do something scuba related tonight, then you may still have some time. There are some scuba diving themed costume ideas and things that you can do in the water. Maybe not tonight on this kind of short notice, um, but you can definitely prepare for next year. You already have a pretty decent costume that you can wear if you have your own dive equipment. Now, you don't want to wear your actual regulators or your tank neither and weights as well to a party. Uh, the regulators, they're just going to get damaged as they swing around and just kind of break things. And scuba tanks and the lead, they're just heavy, so you don't want that bother. Um, you don't want to carry them around, but all you really need is kind of a black turtleneck and just some black pants to act as your wetsuit, um, or just rash vest and board shorts. Um, just kind of throw your BCD on, uh, sort of and a mask, and maybe some old hose pipe, and you're kind of good to go. Now, you can wear your fins if you're brave, uh, but I just kind of clip them off to a D ring or make some pretend fins and kind of strap them onto the top of my shoes, um, something not too long that I can't trip over. For other nautical themed costumes, you have the obvious pirate uh, and zombie pirate. Uh, sailors and uh, sort of vintage diver with the old brass helmet, they're always cool. Uh, you don't see too many sexy brass helmet costumes, um, but I don't know, have fun with it. Um, kind of think Scooby Doo Ghost with kind of all the seaweed and all, that would be pretty cool. And uh, a very easy, completely last minute scuba themed costume is of course Jacques Cousteau. All you really need is a red beanie hat and a blue shirt, that was kind of his look. Uh, if you want to be a little insensitive um, and you've got some green makeup, you could always be zombie Jacques Cousteau. Dressing up small children and pets as scuba divers is fairly easy if that's what you're into. Uh, an old drinks bottle just painted black and kind of stuck to their back can pass off as a scuba tank and they're nice and lightweight as well so they're not going to weigh them down. Uh, and you can use a pacifier or a dog chew toy attached onto a small hose pipe and that can pass off as a second stage. And then you just get kind of short, uh, short cardboard fins on top of their feet. They do the job for fins. Um, not so long that they trip over themselves obviously uh, just as long as their foot is uh, should get the desired effect. There are a few scuba diving activities that we can do this time of year. Uh, most dive centers will have activities planned throughout the month of October, uh, but some may still have some planned for the coming week, um, or even today itself uh, that you can join in on. They may just have, or they might have some spaces left, who knows, it's worth asking. Uh, the first one is pretty obvious, and that's an underwater pumpkin carving competition. Now, I've played with one of these before. The trick is to stay fairly shallow uh, to make the most of your air, to make that last as long as possible, and to have a decent dive knife. You don't want a blunt dive knife to um, sort of cut into a pumpkin. Pumpkins also like to float, so actually getting them down can be quite tricky. Uh, so it's best if you gut them beforehand, uh, before you actually take them in the water. Uh, it can get quite messy if you um, sort of try to cut out the guts in the water because it all just likes to float up to so do that beforehand but once it's empty get a few blocks of lead inside that pumpkin to hold it down on the bottom whilst you carve a face into it actually carving into a pumpkin is pretty hard underwater if you're neutrally buoyant uh, because you literally have nothing to push against so every time you push your knife into it you're just pushing yourself away so most divers like to root themselves down on the bottom dump all of the gas out of their bcd so that they can physically stand up and then cut it out <laughs> 
Underwater costume contests are another activity. Um, just make sure that you go up a couple of sizes to go over your wetsuit or your dry suit and try to avoid anything with lots of loose material. Capes and dresses, they just have a mind of their own in the water and you don't want it all sort of covering your face and obscuring your eyes and mouth. So be careful when choosing a costume and bear in mind that diver safety should always come first. Your PCD and regulators need to fit over the costume uh, and you do need access to your dive knife to kind of free yourself if it comes to that. Also remember that every time you exhale, those bubbles will just catch inside material and just make that float. So bear that in mind when you're picking out a costume. Night dives are the really easy one. Uh, you can just go on a night dive to make things a little bit spookier. Uh, it's really easy because you don't need to stay up too late for it. Um, it gets pretty dark pretty early this time of year. Uh, just remember your backup torch and a sturdy demeanor because there are lots of shadows underwater for things to hide in. And of course the spooky stuff really comes out at night. And finally, a couple of dive centers have come up with their own Halloween kind of themed specialty courses. Um, well, they're less Halloween themed and more just zombie apocalypse scuba diver specialities, um, which was first created back in 2012. And it's basically a fun combination of rescue, search and recovery and kind of peak performance buoyancy with divers searching for a cure or a doctor in zombie infested water. Um, if you get too close to a zombie, um, then you become a zombie yourself. Divers then need to lift an item uh, using kind of makeshift lift bags with just kind of whatever they can find around them. And then they have to treat distressed divers with suspicious bites to their extremities. Uh, it's all a bit of fun, but yeah, it is a speciality. So there are lots of things that you can do for Halloween. Yes, it's a tad late watching this video right now, uh, but you never know, you might get lucky. So see if there's anything that you can join in on this weekend. And if you're allowed to go out and dress up or you just want some pictures for the gram, uh, let us know what you're dressing up as for this Halloween or if you've got your zombie apocalypse badge down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Use the hashtag, hashtag scuba outfits. Halloween. Hashtag scuba ween. <coughs> Sco Hello scuba. Scalloween. Just tag us. Hi I'm Sean. I'm back. <laughs> tag us. We just